as we are discussing the germ cell tumors of the ovary endodermal sinus tumor or yolk sac tumor is the second most common malignant tumor of germ cell origin age is in the second and third decades of life but very rare after the age of 40 years most tumors present with abdominal mass associated with pain in this tumor there are elevated levels of alpha fetoprotein which are useful for the diagnosis of the tumor also later on for monitoring the therapy and response of the tumor to the therapy gross features mostly these tumors are unilateral large may be up to 15 cm in diameter having a smooth external surface they are soft solid grayish white mass on cut section there are cysts which are present with areas of hemorrhage and necrosis now microscopic features there is a reticular pattern which is composed of small cyst lined by cells with clear cytoplasm containing glycogen or lipid hyperchromatic irregular and large nuclei with prominent nucleoli mitoses are frequent and loose connective tissue stoma giving it a lace like pattern shiller dual bodies they are characteristic they are glomeruloid epithelial lined spaces with a polypoidal projection which are lined by cuboidal to columnar cells with a single central blood vessel now for your examination point of view you must know the structure of shiller dual bodies there are frequent hyaline bodies which are of antitrypsin or alpha fetoprotein present intracellularly or extracellularly besides the reticular pattern there are other patterns and you must know the names of these patterns they include polyvesicular haploid glandular papillary myxomatous macrocystic and solid now again i stress that you must know the names of these patterns if not detail because you can be asked about these patterns in your viva examination coming back to the detail of these patterns polyvesicular white line pattern which shows numerous small cysts giving a honeycomb appearance there is a background of dense stroma lined by columnar cuboidal or flattened epithelium then the haploid pattern as the name indicates looks like liver like and it simulate hepatocellular carcinoma in this pattern there are groups of polygonal cells with abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm and clear nucleus with a single nucleolus hyaline bodies are frequently present glandular component may look like endometrioid carcinoma the intestinal variant composed of nests of cells in a cribriform pattern endometrioid like variant show glandular or willow glandular pattern there is presence of simple or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium showing supranuclear or subnuclear vacuoles amino histochemistry afp or alpha fetoprotein positive cytoplasmic staining which may be focal or diffuse alpha 1 antitrypsin positive cytoplasmic staining which is mostly focal creatinine kinase positive cytoplasmic staining ema negative psa highlights hyaline globules now you must remember two things one is shiller dual bodies which is a glomerulus like structure having a central blood vessel which is enveloped by germ cells the other is presence of hyaline droplets which are of alpha fetoprotein and alpha antitrypsin treatment and prognosis as we know that the tumor usually appear to involve a single ovary but grow rapidly and aggressively these tumors were once almost uniformly fatal within 2 years of diagnosis but now the combination of chemotherapy has improved the prognosis now this is the gross photograph of uh, endodermal sinus tumor you can see that the ovary is in large there are brownish area which is a solid area along with numerous cysts now this is the same photograph in which the solid area is marked with brown arrow whereas the cyst which is a large cyst is marked with red circle now this photograph shows microscopic features of yolk sac tumor in which the black arrow points towards cells 
which are laden with glycogen or lipid uh, and we are going to demonstrate them on special staining and then the red circle shows that the cells are not tightly packed as in other um, malignant tumors and we can say that there is a loose lace-like pattern. Now the most important structure in this case is Schiller dual body. You can appreciate in this photograph showing the histological features of uh, yolk sac tumor. There is a central blood vessel which contain red blood cells and it is marked with blue arrow and that blood vessel is surrounded by malignant cells.